Kelly. Find the pocket, and when you're at full power, come back for me. Go! Oh, not the pocket I wanted, but you'll do for now, Penelope. You'll be excellent bait. <laughs> Can't risk it fritzing again until we've refueled the pockite. Yeah, going big in a little space is worse than realizing you've outgrown your favorite flats. What now? We're too big to go in, so we must be patient until they come out. Too bad we aren't Galushki. He's a perfect size. I wish I were a rat. Galushki! I knew I loved this rat! All right, rat face, get in there and find Polly Pocket. Watched? Nine out of ten ghost encounters are preceded by that feeling. Look! Is it a ghost? Three identical doors. It's like choosing between Fire Engine Red, Scarlet Scandal, or Crimson Calamity Nail Polish. Nearly impossible. So, my policy with polish, just go for the middle. No! Don't you see, Lila? It's a test. Prudence wanted only the locket bearer to get to the pocket. <sighs> Hear that? I bet it's a ghost. Monster! Ah! Ah! This one. It looks like the gear is inside the locket. Come on. Oh, cushy. I think we passed the test. So? Where's that pockite? Watch out! <gasps> How did you... Archaeology Adventurer Ruin Quest. I've watched it at least ten times. Prudence must have booby-trapped this whole place. Thanks, Shawnee. Hmm. I think... Just as I suspected. The octagon cobblestones are triggers. Just avoid them. Easy. Totes easy. As long as you go first. Another test? Prudence was my kind of girl. I knew I didn't like that rat. You hurt his feelings. Apologize. Oh. Hmm. Any thoughts on what number Prudence might have used as the code? If it were me, I'd go with something mathematically meaningful, like pi. 3.14159. Ay, ay, ay. Whenever I need a password, I use my birthday. Uh, Lila, you have no sense of cybersecurity. That's it. Offs, who wouldn't use my birthday? Not yours, Prudence's. It's on the family tree. May 8th, 1624. I can't believe Prudence made all this stuff. Why not? She's related to you. You're basically twinsies. <gasps> Look how cute! She even made a tiny replica of her pirate ship! Wait, you don't think that with an unlimited supply of pockite and deep knowledge of the locket, this could be the real pirate ship? Maybe Prudence knew how to go super small. I'd say that's inconceivable, but I'm starting to conceive it. Super tiny possibilities! Huh, the only thing I don't see in here is the pockite mine. Everything's been a puzzle to get here. 
There must be another puzzle. Bookshelves are the number one place for secret doors. If we pull out the right book... never said this about anything before, but it's so pretty! Please work. the linen cotton blend, the hand stitching, and the cut of the tunic, plus the super retro ivory skull detailing on the strap, I'd say she's been in here since at least the mid-17th century. It's like that yeti they found trapped in ice. Except for the fashion thing. When they thawed the ice, the yeti was still alive. What if she's still alive? We have to get her out of there. Polly, it's highly unlikely. If a little pockite can shrink a person, maybe being stuck in a lot of pockite can keep a person alive. She... she's moving! Oh, I wish I were filming this! <gasps> Ahoy, strangers! Huh. Your garments be mighty odd. Uh, well, I never! <laughs> Hello. I bet you're very confused. <gasps> Whoa! Go big! I guess she's not that confused. So good to stretch me legs. Cover for me. Hi, I'm Lila. And who might you be? On the seas, they called me Gruesome Grunwaldar. Genie, initiate Sticky Sneaks. Sticky Sneaks on, Polly. You've been in stasis for over 300 years? No, you don't look a day over 299. Tell me, what is your skin regimen? Is that how long it's been? Over 300 years since I followed Prudence. So you knew Prudence? Aye. We sailed the seas together, and she was always meddling with a magic locket, keeping the power all to herself. It wasn't that hard to find Prudence's pockite stash. She thought that keeping it secret was protecting it. But her being alone made her an easy target. <laughs> no, Grunwalda! The pockite isn't stable! My precious pockite! Don't touch it! Please! <laughs> <laughs> Little sweet as sarsaparilla Prudence must have excavated the cave. But she never found me. Ye <laughs> <laughs> be a feisty little scallywag, just like Prudence. That's because I am like her. I'm a pocket too. Then you'll pay Prudence's debt. Okay, but let them go. This is between you and the pockets. Ah, fine. Go back to your mother's. But I'm a pocket, too! So am I! Samesies! The feisty one was trying to trick me, was she? Genie, autopilot mod quad to me and initiate protocol annoying fly. Sure thing, Polly. Who said that? <laughs> yeah. 
What is that? Where did it come from? Oh, that's right. I guess you've never seen a Mod Quad before. On my command, the Mod Quad will, um, shoot poison darts at your nose. <laughs> yeah, and it'll give you, uh, chronic toe blisters. And a case of never-ending hiccups. And make your cuticles look terrible. Mod Quad, attack her. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, <laughs> Reunited. Nah, surrender that to me at once, ya horn swaggler. Nah. We have to 